Hi Aries, welcome to your daily video. I hope all of you are doing great. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, so I'm going to get started on your reading and see what message Spirit has for us today. If you have Aries placements, welcome. Okay, Spirit Angels, guys, please show us here for Aries. First house of the Zodiac or anyone who has Aries in their chart. Please show us the messages that they need to see surrounding their energies. Magician. Ten of Swords. Nine of Rods still as the, the truth. The devil. <laughs> um, so we've got three cards of secrecy and manipulation, ideas, mind games. Here you are, chariot. You want to go forward with something. And what's around Aries here? King of Wands. And what's the um, hope? Being very straightforward, honest, clear, giving advice, instructing. And what's the outcome? A tower? You're kidding me. Your energy is like, I'm going forward, I'm not looking back. I'm doing this, I'm going for I'm going for it. Now, on your mind is you're either thinking about something very controlled, very toxic, something that you're dealing with that's not easy with the devil card, the ten of swords in the cross. So there's something that felt maybe even like a betrayal or something like that. Some new information here was surrounding the situation. You put up with it. Nine of Wands. So you have a new partnership coming, an, an alliance, a friendship. Someone who understands you, they're committed. What is the future energy here? Same as yesterday, Five of Wands. Conflict, competition. It's not discussed. It's not talked about. <laughs> Somebody, you know something to be the case. Outcome energy. Part of, wow, emperor. Power, authority, um, owning your power, knowing who you are. It did come out with justice. Ooh, and a nine of cups. And a knight of cups. You have some really good news coming your way here. Look at this. Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Justice. So somebody comes forward with their feelings. They want to make something fair for you that maybe wasn't fair. Ten of Swords, very stressful. Magician, somebody could be trying to fix, solve, arrange, put it together for you. And the High Priestess in the future is you know this was going to be the case. What is the Five of Wands here? Show us what the Five of Wands is. Show us the Five of Wands. What is the competition, the conflict? The fight, the argument. Okay, then the Empress. A, mo a mother figure, a matriarch. Something about wealth or money. What is the Ten of Swords and the Crossing? Okay, it's something competitive or filled with conflict. And there is a water sign here. A Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Something is kind of at, on the spur of the moment and someone doesn't want it. And they're thinking about what they've invested into a situation. 
there's a lot of stress around in a scenario here for you about some information or truth. Wow, Ten of Swords feels like a betrayal. Okay, Nine of Cups, satisfied, Four of Wands, things are stable, Nine of Swords, something's upsetting, Emperor, taking back your power, Ace of Swords, the truth or new information, Ten of Swords, feeling like a betrayal, the death card, something ends, and making up your mind excited and looking to towards the future we have uh, at the last minute something is rejected an offer is rejected and so you're looking at the investment of time money or energy into something and what you're getting out of it do you feel like something is not growing not working not worth not worth the price not worth the cost okay show us what the devil is here show us what the devil is okay spur of the moment and the four of cups not wanting it rejection what is the high priestess here look high priestess falls out it's also coming out with a two of swords, which is like there's information that hasn't been told to you, but you just know this to be the case. Your intuition is strong. What is the tower here with the, the knight of water? What is the shocking surprise? The King of Swords, the Four of Swords. So I'm thinking that's something about messages that you haven't received, prayers being answered, uh, because he looks like he's praying. There's also under the deck, the Chariot. You're going to be going forward, not looking back. Why are you putting up with something here, Nine of Wands? Why are you putting up with it? You have heartbreak around some kind of a scenario or you don't like the information. Somebody rushes in with the tower and causes a shakeup. They purposely sort of rush in here and cause a, a stir. Sorry. And um, that energy is actually with the devil on the bottom. So there's somebody who's angry dealing with their shadow, um, dealing with issues to do with anger. Who's What's behind this King of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles, a lot has been invested. There's a Queen of Water here, an Empress, a Matriarch, a Water Sign, Queen of Wands, Fire Sign, Four of Swords, not speaking to someone, Seven of Rods, Confused by Choices, Eight of Swords. Okay. Well, in these types of energies, I mean, when there's competition, backstabbing, toxic scenarios, unnecessary restriction or control, forced, um, being forced or feeling like you're forced, creating an altar of dedication, you come out of this ahead. You come out of this in harmony with someone. So you have good news on your side. You have a Nine of Cups, Justice, and Emperor. So you get a pentacle out of this. You get something important given to you. Stay grounded. Know what's real. Stay connected to the earth. There is a spell of manifestation. And there's also Beltane here, Fertility. The Witch's Hat of Power, and my favorite one right here is the Yule. So we have the Rebirth coming. December 21st is the Yule. In the past couple of days, I've been looking up cookies to make for the Yule, which is um, the solstice is December 21st. It lasts about eight days, um, but you burn the Yule log and all that stuff. 
And it's just a really festive, nice time of year, um, in addition to Christmas. So, why is this devil like this? What is this devil energy about? What's it bringing in? Oh, strict rules or strict traditions. Other people, strict traditions, strict rules. To the point where it could be like really unnecessary, overburdening on you. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. Competition, conflict, King of Wands, memories. So in the future position, there was a King of the Fire. Picking up the wands, taking action. The strength card could be a Leo or something takes a lot of courage and inner strength. That brings in the tower, the judgment, memories, king of wands and lovers. Okay. And justice is on the bottom. Chariot. Coming out of conflict. Chariot and the justice was on the bottom here. So some of you are going forward towards justice okay this is it for you Aries for today thanks for watching and I'll see you next time